Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about partitions in Databricks. We are going to see how partitions works and what is the use of partition. This will be a pretty short video uh, for today. So let's move ahead and see what exactly is partition. So when I say partition, let's say you have a table and uh, you know in that if you try to do partition, what exactly will happen? So all the rows which are related to one particular column on which you partition by will actually move in one subset right so the same thing actually happens so when you are trying to write to a file when you are trying to write to a file when you are trying to create a file in the databricks and you define partition by columns what will happen is let's say you partition by a column a now if that a column has 10 distinct values then uh, you know all the rows which defines to that one particular subset will come together we will actually do it and see uh, you know first we will do it and then i'll tell you what is the importance of it and why we should do it and what kind of columns you should use for doing the partitioning and what kind of columns you should not use for doing the partitioning so let me go to the portal so if you see i'm just using uh, you know uh, i'm just uh, creating a data frame spark.read.format csv i'm trying to basically read a csv file which is present you know add up at my dbfs location so i have a iris file i am just reading it so now if you see i am trying to write the file uh, write the same file partition by species you know i am trying to do partition based on the species column and i'm mode is overwrite so whatever is present at this particular location just overwrite it now if i try to run this command basically you will see what will happen is in that particular location uh, let me go to the data tab here and go to this dbfs file store tables now you will see what has happened so the distinct species that i have was setosa versicolor virginia and uh, you know species equal to one right and one is hive default partition so this is because uh, you know because it was null one species uh, you know uh, so distinct values were one null setosa versicolor and virginia so you can see how partitioning works so all the rows for which species was setosa will be the part of this partition will be the part of this partition all the rows which were part of a species equal to versicolor were will be the part of this partition now what is the use of partition now you have done this partition what is the use of it the main point is let's say if i am trying to read the data or you know let's say downstream if someone is trying to read the data if you have partitioned it already right in that case what will happen is let's say i write a where, where clause where species equal to setosa right if i write that what will happen is spark will skip scanning all the other folders because spark internally knows where your data is present right so it is not going to scan and internally what will happen is it will be more efficient it will be more performant right so that is the main purpose but do remember that for you know choosing a partition column you should choose uh, you know you should not over partition your data right because over partitioning will create a lot of small files which makes no sense right so you have to choose a partition column where you know that while reading the data you know uh, yeah, basically it will be read based on species so let me partition it based on species so never use uh, you know kind of identity column for uh, doing the partition because again at that does not make sense the moment you do it by identity column now each row has you know unique identity so that does not make any sense it will create a lot of sm small files e almost equal to the number of rows right so these things you should take care uh, while uh, you know doing the partitioning and also while creating a table itself you can uh, do the partitioning like for example create table customer right now here what I, what is happening is i am creating a table in the databricks right i am creating a table which has an id okay as a int and the name as a string now partition by it also has state it has city right and then i am inserting into that particular table values as you know uh, state ca right because it is partitioned by state and city so okay let me explain you in other way so i'm trying to create a table it has to be partitioned on two columns basically it has it should be partitioned on state as well as city 
and then I, I am inserting the values into it ID and the name of the person who is staying in that particular state and city along with the partition details like I am telling uh, you know uh, this person John who has the ID of 100 he's staying in a CA he uh, the city is Vermont so I am explaining it so in the moment I run it you will see that this table gets created in the default uh, you know location which we have discussed earlier in the past so you already know the default height location so uh, that is the place where it will start uh, you know loading the data and you will see the number uh, number of effective rows and number of inserted rows so now let me go back to the data part again now if you see if you go to this user hive because this is a table warehouse and you will see that this customer table is present over here and you can see state AZ state CA right in the state CA you have city city partition as well right and similarly in state AZ you have city partition as well so this is how you can partition your data and keep you know right now here you have basically partition based on two values you know you have partition based on state you have partition based on city and based on that you can see that how data was loaded right and similarly if you want to see the partitions what are the partitions present simply you can you know query show partitions based on customer and um, you know all the partitions if you want to see you can simply write show partition this is a table name and you know show me the partition uh, where you know state is CA and city is Vermont you can do that so I hope you understood the whole uh, part of this um, you know partitioning and do remember to subscribe to my channel like share and comment in case you have any questions so thank you so much for being till here